everyone, my name is Nathaniel, also known as Inline. I'm going to do a quick run through of how to install X Elite onto your 335i and also the necessary equipment to get the whole thing going. To get things started, you will need the following. You're going to need an Android phone. For now, the app is only compatible through Android software. Once you have the app downloaded, you'll also need an adapter as well as a KD SAN cable if that is how you pronounce it correctly. Once you do so, you would plug this end into your OBD2 port located right here. You would just rip it off and go on your merry way. All right guys, as mentioned earlier, you plug in the KD SAN cable into the OBD2 port, then you plug it into the adapter, and then the adapter into the Android device itself. Once you do so, the car, you know, sh the vehicle should be detected by the app, and you can start the process. But first things first, you're gonna have to buy the license. All right, so the car's ignition is on. We are good to go. X drive. And then select disable. So we are disabling the X drive as we speak. The process takes roughly three minutes or so as a state. Me being bold, I am not using a, you know, a portable charger. I think I should be all right. One thing's for certain is they wanna make sure that you have all lights turned off, nothing turned on, no heaters, nothing on, no heat heated seats. I do not know how to turn off the navigation. I don't want to bother messing with that. Otherwise, I'm confident the car can make it. It's only three minutes, so it should be all right. But as we speak right now, it's in the process of disabling it. You'll hear the little dings go off in the background. All these warning lights are normal, so don't freak out. And as you can see right here, please turn off your ignition off and press OK. So turn off the ignition first. Ignition is off, all right? Press OK. Please wait this amount of seconds before continuing. I'm so sorry if it's blurry, by the way, guys. I do apologize. Please turn your ignition on. All right, will do. Okay, ignition is back on. Clearing fault codes. All fault codes are gone. No crazy warning signs. So it does, and looks like it is successful, ladies and gentlemen. My X Drive 335i is officially a rear wheel drive car. Thank you so much. It sounds awesome. So we are good to go. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it off. For those of you who may have MHD, it's a little pet peeve of mine. I'm going to let the car sit for 30 seconds. I'm not going to bother opening any doors. Just because of the whole process when you usually download any maps or switch any maps on MHD, they ask you to wait 30 seconds or so. Just because I'm a little bit anal about it, I'm going to do the same thing here for switching from X drive to rear wheel drive. But nonetheless, you guys saw it yourself. I did not need a portable charger. It's my very, very first time doing this. And it was pretty straightforward. The purchasing process through Google Play was pretty straightforward. The app itself works really good, and I'm really satisfied. For 150 bucks, I'm gonna start testing out how the car drives. I was not a big fan of the oversteer for this vehicle, so I'm sure that with it off, it should be a more of an enjoyable driving experience. Anyways, guys, I will throw in some clips right about now, and you'll see how the car behaves and turns as it's rear wheel drive. But I'm trying to give you the best view possible of how the car may react steering wise as well as what to expect in terms of turning angles and stuff. It's going to be a quick two minute drive. I'm going to attempt a burnout in this car and see how that goes and uh, attempt a drift. Maybe, maybe not, but of, close, but of course everything would be attempted in a closed off area because it is very important to not risk anyone else's life for your own curiosity. <laughs> so uh, we'll get right to it. All right, so pulling out of the driveway is a lot easier. <laughs> wow, okay, that's cool. I don't have to turn the wheel as hard. Yo, this is really weird. I'm gonna be as cautious as possible. Wait, how's the, how's, how's the steering like? Let me see this. Oh my God. Okay, one thing you guys understand is that I'm just in a small little roundabout in my neighborhood, right? It would make, I would have to do a three point turn if I were to turn anywhere here, whereas right now, this car can do it flawlessly, which is insane. This is probably the best way to describe how different it is now having a rear wheel drive 335 by versus an X drive. I just did three full rotations. That would legitimately require me, in some instances, if I'm turning in too late, 
to do a whole two point turn. I just drove in there casually and it just handled it like a champ. All right, um, I mean, shit, let's try it. Uh, excuse my language. Uh, can I just. Whoa! Back wheels are spinning. All right. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. So, one thing for sure is I made sure there was no cars coming my direction. I just turned on DTC and just forward it a little bit with sport mode on, detected wheel spin, I saw the little trash control light come on. That is insane. Wow. Dude, I feel so much responsibility now because I'm... <laughs> oh, dude, I don't, this is so good. This is so good. I mean, one thing for sure is I have the nearly 200 pound penalty compared to a rear wheel drive. Well, traditionally rear wheel drive 335i, but when it starts snowing around, heck, I can just turn it back on and I'll be all right. But wow, no, this actually, this turns really good. This turns really, 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 really good. That is astonishing. Okay, I think I'm sizing it. I may be exaggerating a little bit. I hope not. I'm just, this is like, it's one of my, this is my personal baby. So just figuring out that I reliably just made it rear wheel drive on the fly for 150 bucks, not buying an entirely new car. That is pretty darn cool, guys. You gotta give me a break there. I dig it.